Here in North, uh, Central North Carolina, it was a gloomy and cold weekend. Yes, it was. Well, most of it anyway, but out towards the coast, flooding caused some major headaches. CBS 17 meteorologist Rachel Dunzing explains why this flooding was so bad, and it wasn't just because of a weather system either. Over the weekend, we were flooded with images of water and waves taking over roads and beaches along the Outer Banks as well as coastal South Carolina. While this was caused partially due to a storm off the coast, that was in fact only part of the problem. You may have heard of something called a king tide. A king tide is a higher than normal tide that happens when the earth, sun, and moon are essentially in alignment. These king tides happen roughly twice a month, but we only seem to hear about them when they are especially high, like this weekend. So what happened this weekend? This weekend, the moon was coming off its new phase, which can lead to higher than normal tides anyway, but it was also at its closest point to the Earth. So when you have a new or full moon closest to the Earth, its gravitational pull is at its strongest, so tides can be a foot or more higher than normal. So our high tides were already higher than normal, but then add in a strong storm system off the coast, causing rough surf, strong winds, and heavy rain, it led to a messy situation for the Outer Banks. Fortunately, the tides are starting to get back to normal. The storm system is pulling away, but this rising water is something we may have to get used to. There's research that shows the high water we deal with during these king tides may be an indicator of how high the water will eventually become due to climate change and sea level rise. The next king tide event for the Outer Banks is expected the weekend of December 4th, when once again, the new moon will be closest to the Earth. In the studio, meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS 17.